Alright everybody! So welcome to your third dot .client X dot .client Y tutorial. I believe this is in events number 12. Um, yeah, and so far we've gotten our um, we've gotten our image preview to work. So you can see it's fully working here, but you can see the problems when we get to the second image is not showing and that's because the image is all the way down here and uh, when we do hover over these images they're not exactly where we'd like them to be so we have to fix that so let's solve that problem first as as I said in the last tutorial when you're going up we want it to go down right that new div that's holding the bigger picture and when we go left we want it to go right so that's why it's minusing right that's why we're subtracting things um, the position of it is not really that great it's it's to the right 50 right whenever we need it to be much more in the middle so I would say that's around 100 Let's try that All right so that's pretty good um, now we just have to get it in the middle right because when we go up here it's fully right on the page so I'd say 90 to maybe even 105 let's try 105 you're gonna be doing a lot of adjusting with these things right it's just one of those things that comes when you're working on these types of projects and being a designer alright so it's at 105 that looks pretty good right so now we have to adjust the up and down though the y-axis so I would say that's around 90 right Check this out. There I go. That looks pretty good. So move down. Yeah. That well, looks pretty good. It's pretty spot on. All right. Let's just make it uh, 85 to be sure because it's a bit. There you go. It's in the middle now whenever we hover over it. You go up here. You can see. It's perfect. All right, so our next problem deals with having this picture appear whenever you hover over it. And uh, the way to solve this, the reason why it's doing this, is because you're adding 105 to the current X, right? And once you get to the second image, the X axis is at 118, and when you're on dominant, when you're on the the first picture but when you're on the second picture it's around 157 right so it's adding one 157 minus 105 and then when you're on the first picture it's also minusing subtracting 105 right that doesn't really make sense because you're subtracting twice more than you need to when you're on this pick right um, I mean less than what you should be subtracting when you're on this pick because it needs to be far more to the right. So to do this, to adjust it, we would need if and else statements, right? Because when you get to this point, it's a different subtraction or, or uh, equation that needs to be built when you're on this image. It's not going to be the same equation that's present when you're on the first image okay so let's change that right now the way we do that once again is with if and else statements so if x which is the client x the uh, left and right coordinates right if x is less than 150 because that's where the that's where they cross right 150 around there let's see here you know, 148, 150 around there. Yeah, 150. Let's just put 148 just to be sure. 148. Then this is the equa uh, This is the equation that would be present for that particular image. If it changes, you know, if it's more than that. Right? We don't need to type in the condition because whatever applies there 
will be good, right? Because even if you get down here, the coordinates are still going to be less than 148. But when you get down here, it's always going to be more, right? As you can see down here, it's 211. Down here, it's 240. So else, we just copy this. following best practices of my typing right now. So change this to let's say 250, right? And what happens? Down here, now it's starting to appear as opposed to it being off the screen, right? I think we're gonna need a bit more than that, or less than that, sorry, 225. There you go, perfect, right? One here, so I must say, right? Starting to be spot on. So that's basically what you have to do to move around your images. It's a lot of adjusting for it to work, right? But it's worth it at the end because you're doing things from raw JavaScript. You're not using any frameworks or anything. You have to really play with the code and uh, try to understand exactly what it is you're doing. There's nothing else doing it for you. This is the pure, the real thing, all right? So as you can see, it's starting to appear. It's exactly what we want whenever we hover over a certain area. It shows that area in a much more bigger preview, right? Let's change this to Change it to, um, I would say, 95. It's too high. All right, there you go. It's starting to show. There it is. All right. There you go. All right, so that's how you make your image preview. I hope you understand exactly how to make this work because this is something that is incredibly useful, especially if you're a web designer. I'll be posting the code in the description. And yeah, play with it, test it out. Once again, guys, I'm just dropping examples for you of where you could use .clientx. But the way you learn this stuff is to try it on your own. Use it on your own projects. Don't just use it on this one example that I'm showing you because that's how you truly embed it within your memory and make it long-term memory and, and start to fully grasp and understand what JavaScript is doing. By just copying the code, you're, you're really not learning that much. You know, it's basically you just <laughs> copying my code, you know, so if you understand the fundamentals and the steps and how to actually do things from you know from scratch then you're in a much better position to create whatever it is you want in the future alright so hopefully that helped like subscribe hit them up just don't kill anybody you know how it goes thanks peace